Thank you very much, uh, Jenny And uh, all of you, my dear school heads, Ellen and Secondary, to all the PSDSX, the blessed of the figure. Wrapped in, you don't know what okay. is wrapped. But the wrapper is not so important. What is important is the package. The one wrapped. <laughs> what is wrapped? Look, is it not rotten? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you were just done with the two modules. The first module talks about we talked about what? What did we learn in module one? Mission, the learning organization. In module two, learning organization. Module two is all about smart goals for you. Uh, prepare your smart goals. In module one, you prepare your shared vision. Shared vision, and you are to yeah, you are to prepare one vision per school. So oh, that when you go back, uh, you already have something to be uh, benchmarked by the other participants, by your post school heads in your schools, in your district. Because we seem to forget when we go back to our stations, uh, we are not sure about memory. Once our notes are set aside, we'll be doing another set of words. My uh, works in uh, our school, uh, uh, in following the uh, randoms from the division office. There was one asking, it's actually not if uh, Monday is a holiday, it's a start of uh, Ramadan. I don't know if it's holiday, no? We'll wait for. Yeah, and So this afternoon, we're going to talk about. Qualities of a literacy leader. What are the expected qualities? No? Your expected qualities as literacy leaders. What are these? And what are the essential components of high quality literacy programs? Aligning it to your PPSSH. No, the domains. There are five domains and a uh, we will be tackling some activities which are not found in the prepared activities that we received. So uh, I really uh, give you, I try my best to put in some activities, in some activities in order for us to be understood. Especially those in the secondary, maybe uh, for the elementary, they're already familiar with some of these uh, topics, no? and the activities really in order how to teach beginning reading. So this morning, Ma'am Kabil, Desiree Kabil was my student before in high school. And uh, I was supposed to be the first, but then uh, because of the grouping, we divided the team into two groups. So uh, she was the first to discuss with you the second session. That is supposed to be the second session. But anyway, we'll be in the same direction. A file name in Padala? File in Padala? File, sir. Thank you. Research to make sure. 
Berlaku seperti itu tuh. I was lost in the dark. Well, I'm broken. Okay, these are the two topics, two sessions in this module. The first is the qualities of a literacy leader. And the, the other one is session 3.2, the JC and literacy instruction. Did you understand about this already? No. And uh, before we proceed, may I ask one or two about your realizations of the previous two modules, module one and module two. What are your realizations and what have you learned? What have you learned from those two modules, from module one? What is in, uh, what is in module one that is important to you as school uh, literacy leaders not to be implemented in your respective schools? For module one, what striking realization do you have in, in module one? Yes? What struck me most was actually on the lesson or the topic of Ms. Atunutuahi. It's all about the learning organization and uh, of which part of, part of which now that there are activities in the schools now uh, being undertaken there which are not of learning they are actually of schooling. However, we were not able actually to qualify uh, different activities undertaken in a school. What particular general rule or general statement now, when can we say that these activities are under schooling or under learning? The way I understand it, when we say that if it is actually I mean, with the same activities that there is learning, we could say that there is a direct uh, effect in, in improvement of, of the learning outcomes of our students. Or there would be great enhancement now of our teachers. Once the activity now, though the focus or the target of the activity would simply uh, focus on the improvement of the performance of the learners. However, I could see in the field that there are actually activities just for the sake of compliance. Yes. To come up with that. So, it's, uh, it's an eye-opener for that lesson that we have to ensure the moment that we are going to come up with the activities that will be conducted in the schools, ensure that there are there is actually a positive learning outcomes among our uh, clients. Okay. Thank you. Yes, no. Is that also your realization? We have to take note of the possible outcomes. No, in conducting such trainings, not just to conduct for compliance. No? So these are embodied in the purpose, the statement of purpose in in the memorandum for that. Okay, how about in module two? What is your realization or anything that you learned from module two, which is applicable in, uh, in your schools? Thank you very much, Sir Arnold. That is very good, no? You are, you're sharing your takeaway from for module one. It's true, no? that you have to look into the outcome in every training that you will conduct, even if these trainings are, uh, what is this? Uh, what is this? From the division office, you are just going to conduct this to stay in your level, but still, you have to look into your localized activities. Sometimes you are going to contextualize the activities. Any idea for, uh, for uh, module two? Get there yourself and everything discussed. Our facilitators there, what uh, we are, Mom Dolor and Mom Roses and Punada. Ah, you forgot to come in? You Okay, Mom, uh, Mom, 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 
the module two talks about the smart goals, no? and um, we are really aware now that forming uh, goals should be specific, measurable, attainable, and time bounded. And we are also uh, encouraged to insert in our goals and target the what we call social, social emotional learning. Ma yes, ma yes, you have to uh, integrate this one. This is very important. Huh? So thank you, Ma'am Rami. For smart goals, you have done those. Uh, you will submit one each, no? Uh, each that is an um, individualized activity. So with your vision and for the PIP, uh, come on, no? To do the whole district. So the session objective for this module three are the following. We are going to discuss the results from the baseline study conducted by ABC. You all know that ABC is a project. This program is funded by US, USAID. No? And then uh, in order to help our country solve the problem in uh, underachievement among our learners, especially in day two, three, this stage one, from kinder, from grades one to grade three. They will also be discussing the qualities of effective literacy leaders, review the domains of literacy, uh, the domains of literacy, and uh, development in corresponding effective literacy strategies. Discuss the ed's approach to literacy instruction. There are several approaches, strategies, on how to let uh, each child we we know that uh, this is a problem, a real problem, not only in our division but all throughout the country. And then explain the balanced literacy approach as a framework for literacy instruction. What is balanced? We have to balance, no? Use the balanced literacy approach. If not balanced, what are the other two? So if it's to be balanced, then there are two sides. Explain the use of the layer strategy in the eight to three last rule. Leia, I'm bringing another name of a woman. Yesterday, the other day, you learned about the three names. Who are the three? Jesse, Aida, Lorna, and of course, and the one I included. But now I'm bringing with you another one. Yes, Leia. That will be explained later. Okay, done already. Uh, now, uh, the ABC conducted an exam assessment uh, test among the learners in regions 5 and 6. Region 5 is uh, in the Beagle region, people, and 6 is in the Western Visayas portion. According to this report, the instructional implications. The learners are reading moderately well and average, but generally below expectations for at least 40 to 50 correct words per minute or grade 2. In region 6, the same. Again for region 5, 10%, but uh, it's not indicated the number of learners are not indicated. We know that 10%. 10% of learners are non-readers and nearly 25% of central people speaker, people speakers are not able to understand simple text in their mother tongue. In uh, Region 6, 10% of learners are non-readers and nearly 20% in Region 5, 25% are not able to understand simple text. It's not said that it is in the mother tongue. Comprehension and decoding skills are underdeveloped for grade two learners. In region six, comprehension and decoding skills are also 
underdeveloped for a grade two learners say that two regions have the same uh, implications. The children who are reading fluently and with comprehension in the mother tongue are transitioning well to Filipino. Same with uh, Region 6. So, uh, mother tongue is the bridge no, for the learners to learn to read in Filipino. O bridge magunasya. Transition to transition. So, these are the implications. And uh, they have, how about in our area? Do we have the same uh, implications with them? As we listen to the reports, from your reports in the field, I hope that you are all submitting, always submitting the legit data. The data that are, uh, you should uh, exercise what? Integrity. No? Uh, let us submit to the division office exact data so that the people also in the regional central office can give us the, uh, the right solution to the problem. Next, uh, the region, their policy implications. So they set up a policy, these two regions. The most effective instructional strategies are the most underperformed by teachers across all domains of practice. Now, <coughs> the most effective instructional strategies are the most underperformed. Who are to be blamed for this? Not performed well by our teachers. For what reason? For what reason? What do you think are the reasons? They are not coached and mentored by the school heads, the literacy leaders, the supervisors. Especially, there are reasons no? to consider. There are reasons. Uh, even me, I cannot go all around because all the uh, file of uh, what is this activities work in the office. Especially Sadora, I started in uh, Triple SP, but even my surrogate district, wala pa na natando. Nakaroon yung enhanced na siya, a door, enhanced door to be, uh, to be extended to the parents in the community. Wala pa. The Hindi Gaidan classrooms, so uh, please take note with this big idea. They are not performing well. They have not trans they have not performed well. The teacher especially to teach no, e the effective punta nga strategies pero wala nila na ma atagi of importance. So take notes to me. Even if this is just uh, for those two regions, but still we are uh, affected by this because uh, teachers are just the same. All teachers are now mga sa naman yung mga high tech na yung mga teachers sometimes they lack what? Ang atong problema nila o sa dedication, no? Commitment. Naano na diha? Basta na ibata gabarog. O na sila, please check. Whatever are our mga lapses na to sa una, kung saan to'y nahitabo sa una, that some uh, were not able to submit the exact data, the legit ones, karon magbabako na lang ta from this training. Forget the past, let us now uh, uh, face the future. What is this? Face a new beginning. Ha? Sa unag na ako sa to, karon ato na lagi yung tarongon eh. Atong tarongon, I hope, no? Pag sinapta na ito, ako nito po ang mga 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 School leaders support practices are not translating well, especially well. For instructional practice for use of materials in the classroom. Na kamo wala dey no naghata ko mga support for the materials. Support oi. Ata ko man po. Using the MOE, no? Uh, are not translating especially well. Na raport but not so well to instructional practice. Sa ilaha ni but in our Division, Amoray Nakapalo. Huh? If you have done with your best for this purpose. So the deaf ed urge to stop sending non readers to high school. Why tapatinood? This is our plea, no? Naunta ang mga di kabasa, hindi na pasako dito, ano ang problema. But it's not also. Uh, Nice to say that we will establish point A and point B. 
A and B, A for the LM, B for the high school. Ah, di nila may bahala na sila anak. No, let us help each other. The students now reaching secondary who are with these problems, let us now accept the challenge. We are there to help. Let us not anymore think of anak magong elementary. Pasang ka po na nilik na pasaan yung sa nanik. Nilik na lang ta. Let us help each other. Do not blame each other. But I hope Mangita ang tayo pa maagi nga unta, ma-work well na nga itong mga strategies. Magtinabangay, ganun sa pagkuna, si Dr. Seminati, kaya po ma-improve. Dagan kaya po hindi ka basa. Tawar lang si Sir. Academically, children who are not reading on grade level. By the end of grade 3, of third grade, struggle in every class. Tinood na, naman ka ni grade 3, yung bata hindi ka basa, this will, this children, will struggle in all the classes, even at the highest levels in your high school, which is true. There are supervisors, uh, really, who confided to me, ma'am, that you're not reader at a high school, senior high school. Na, ah, ma'am, good. Oh, na, ah. Ready ka ba sa? Na, ah, just. Ngayon na-abot sa senior high school. Ah, ah, basaw. Ah, ah, ko na, hmm, basaw pa. That is why we conducted the door. The door, we only did, we only, kung siya, we consider lang nato niya ang word reading o comprehension because we are after of the oral production of the, kung ano, sa mga bata. We are not after the listening, but Phil Eric is asking for the result for GST. Group reading test, which is silent reading. A group of 20 learners, 20 learners, maguna. Bago magbabasa sa silent, kung ano na yun, kanang, kung ato nga nga mong nasa door, katong ato ang formula to compute the comprehension. Dito? Kung ato na niya punta dito. So, if the learners are scoring 14% and below, below, they are struggling. Kung 14 above, kung above na siya sa 14, they are now instructional or independent. Mahora na. So, for me, what is important is katong oral sa door na to. Kay, we will know the miscues. There are eight miscues. Katong mag-una ito nga how they speak, how they pronounce, are there omissions, are there substitutions, na naman mo, repetition. There are eight miscues. So, that is what I want in the door. Pero karon, ang pili-iri, mga yung mag- sa silent, apila na lang po ninyo. Apilo na lang na to. But in our door, only the oral and the operational scores will be considered. Ang and door, you know how to bangga-bangga the two scores <coughs> in order to come up ang door oral, with, ang, with a final level of the child. That child will not If the child is a uh, Uh, in the word reading, if the child is instructional, in comprehension, the child is uh, is the child is uh, independent. Ano sa ilabas ana? Instructional ra niya. Instructional. Hindi siya pwede may independent because she has only lower score in word reading. Reading is the skill by which students get information from books to peers. Worksheets and boards to learn math, science, literature, social studies, and more. So, uh, oh, nasha. If reading is the problem, he cannot pursue to the higher level. No? Smart so, school. That is why, ingon ko, if the scores of the students, in, learners in the door are below Kwansha average, na himo tama siya struggling, assign them to one section and assign a special teacher to teach them. A reading teacher na magtudlo niya from uh, within three to four months. After this month, the child is now ready to be transferred to the other subjects. It is pachar na sila kay makabasa na sila. Ato sana silang lamingon. Tuduhan sa laging basa. Karang panguntaan ako, have you read the memo 338, katong division intervention? Pagpanda ba nung laging mga maestra? Joseph, nag-apply ka anak? Nagpanda, have you? Yeah, I know. Because you have a very good reading teacher now. Good afternoon, everyone. It's very true. Ma'am Hiboni knows this. Uh, our reading teacher analyzed all the grade 7 students 
and it's hard to say Najib. and we try what about video we try to, we try to find ways so giko ana mo tong non reader o struggling section so ay nasa diferensya lang ma'am kay <clears throat> ang imong gusto is ipa-focus sa reading teacher di mapud pwede kay namo ko sila in subjects so ang ina bo Kato mga teacher, ganahin sila subject, for example, TLD, during their time, magpabasa rin sila. Huwag din sila ilang ibuhatun. Magpabasa rin yun. So, mind you, ha? I have 1,259 students. Dahil yung two sections, ano, muna siya. So, gihi mo. Ah, sorry. Hindi ko mo pa nagahan kung kaayo. Nagahan lang yung pumakabalo sa grade 7. Pero, katuuban, the grade, mo ito yung nakamit ko, alam mo kay, gusto ko nga i-extend. Ang problema kay, ang teacher naman po yun, di na yun makaya po sa teacher. So, sorry yun kay, pero we try to find, and we try to solve the problem. Mano yung akong hindi. So, next year, basta yung kwan po, still will be applied. Basta mano yung hindi mo. Yeah, everyone is uh, expected to do this, you know? Uh, you offer that on the memo, 33E, Division Remediation and Intervention Activities. Tana siya. Uh, you will only focus on lesson plans and teacher. Kato lang yung objectives dito. Kato ang phonological, pandemic awareness, uh, kato nga mga strat. Na yung objectives ay, ay uh, what is this? Uh, I forgot all the memos, ma'am. I forgot all the memos. I will give you the memo. Yeah, yeah. But, Ang nga mo lang is, sino ka rin mag-style? Kung na yung problema, pakitaan pa agi, how to solve it? Ano ito dyan ang trabaho sa head? Kaya di po pwede, o di rin na mo, di po pwede, o di rin na mo pakitaan pa agi. Yes. There are several ways. Yes ma, mga good. So muna yung magiging mo. Dahil, sikreto ang tanawag na, ni ma, asa si Butad, history yan na ni ma. Joke. Mas, others, pwede mo ana. Others may be, let's mark. Pwede ma. Yes. Basta kaya po na kaya. Dito na ako, but you're just so silent. You may, you may speak. Because others want to talk. If we can talk about it openly, ang may tabo, hindi rin sa magkapagita. So, ano ito pagsumbag sa pagsumbag? This must be communicated. You will not do it. Please tell us your story. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We also, have made, uh, we also have made ways by which uh, we identify the students who cannot read. No. Dagan dyan sila. Dagan sila pero usa ka na sa section. No? But uh, what school lang in there is katong mga line-line naman strategies by which all of these students will only be doing the reading and logical I really would like that uh, we can we can make changes on the curriculum nila no by which saging ni mga three to four months we are going to implement reading alone yeah and again and then I have in mind that it will not anymore be the science teacher Shall be the master teacher who will take charge of the of the class. Okay, thank you. 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 Thank Or strategy. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, yeah. yeah. One point. I always follow up the reading teacher and also the other teachers. Kung sa na, a progress. Kaya basi po niya, o dili po mo hatag ang report, niya kuha na, di kasi gila po tato. Kuha ni, mas may gito, i-follow up. Thorough po again. Thorough gito ng follow up. Kaya dili, na. Mentor. Oh, mag-listen dito. Dahil yun, kada mga bata, ha, may niyo, ha, o dili po na makaibalo, Mahugin na kaya po mga bata ang para sa NLC. Mura na sila. Even in the sports. Di kaya na makuha. NLC kita padulong. Padulong na na. 
Monday. Monday ni happy. So there were some asking, o sa pagigrado nila, ma'am, tipo ko na mo sila ngayon mag-reading sa anong mga bulana. Kung sa grado nila di hari, graduhan na sila sa reading, o po ilang grado sa other subject areas. Anyway, pa-only na na sila. Graduhan na po na sila. Agreement na yun, na internal agreement. At ito, alam mo rin, at ito, alam mo rin, sa ato, alam mo rin, division office na inanaon. Just to help the learners na makabasa. Kaya itin po na ito sila, men, No, there will be no progress. See, hindi mas sila, they will be bullied because they cannot cope with the different mga competencies na they take out dito sa class. Kaya yung ilang competency yung kinanda is on reading pa. Anak man na, naapot. Ano na ako na? Ito na arrangement and just talk with the parents. Para bito ang hap sa endala na walang nasuko na ito. Talk with the parents. Talk with the child. Oh. Ano siya? I'm a man friend. In our case, I conducted with the school head sector at my turn to my aripal the grade 7. There were many, many good mga mga even cannot Uh, identify ka na ng mga syllables, mga nagalisan dyan ma'am, namila ko, ay, kinuko dyan yung mga mata. Giit po na mo tanan from grade 7 to itong grade, paano lang sa grade 2, napagalit ko sir, no? But, ma'am, read the help of the reading teacher after mga pila ka months, two or one month, na namin nakuha, giit pang balik na dahil sila. To na nga dyan na hindi lang. Lain yung lagi sa ma'am, ma'am, unsay ang mong i-grado aning mga bataan. O, na ang pasalig na ito aning nila, ma'am, diri lang mo, anyway, tagaan na mong grado dito. O niya, ma'am, ang pinakalowest dito, kanil sila, asa man nila silang napita mo, pasalig, ma'am, na naan ang joy mga dilig mo pasar at ito nga section. Eh, ko tagaan yun na lang ng makaluluoy na grado ang mga pasar. That's why the teacher should do her best. O, para may makawasa na. Yan na mag-iun na. Teacher factor mag-iun na. Siya. Now, let's move. Grita. This one. Let's ponder on this thought. Your thoughts on this. Okay, you can... Saan na ito na siya? What is your... Action to this. We have been experiencing this for so many years. Okay, good afternoon, ma'am. I just want to express my my take on the problem that we are now having within our schools. Nationwide po niya, ma'am. No? Ako mang nakita before, there was a certain policy in, the, uh, in our uh, system na no more Uh, supposedly, no, no one should be left behind. No oh, wrong notion in the field. Na, oh, pabasama ba ka na? Okay, no one should be left behind. Another thing, no dropout. Oh, no dropout policy. It happened in Manukan before. Nagipangungat kong nangundang, nagipapasarun lang, kay maapiktahan ang inyong PBB performance sa school. Mauna na yung resulta ka ron, na dagan na kayo diyan sa itong mainstream, dagan na kayong mga non-reader. Wrong notion, wrong notion, wrong understanding on the field sa mga teachers. Kaya i-question na po ang ilahang credibility as teacher, why they were not able to promote these students? If they have that wrong notion, Wala ka correct, ma'am. Wala ka correct. This is true. Ang understanding ko sa school head, maura po, wala. Mag-dakot ang atong performance sa school. So, dapat no drop out. So, sige, hala, papasaron. Imagine ka sa manuka na hitabo, nag-ipanguha ng mga minyo na hasang patay, pakumo. Hitabo ko na sa una na ang mga. Wala na nangisunta. For how many years? Pagka na kayo natikong na ang mga sudyante na di ka basa sa atong mga iskilahan. Kuan pergi dalam pandemi pergi dalam war. Boleh mak buat sahun. I know it is a common problem to all of us. Nationwide, and even internationally. 
We have a lot of reading programs, pero ang gabaha po, ang gabaha ang programs, ang gabaha po ang ikabasa. Nagapay ka po, inclusive education. Kala po program ay inclusive education. Wrong. Ang atong mga sped students, di butang sa mainstream. Kung ang saan na? Then greeted, then wala dito, then appeal mo na, spark mo na sila sa performance sa eskwilahan. Kaya inclusive education, papilon nyo dia sa mainstream, particularly in secondary. We don't have that spread teachers to address this problem within our mga sudyante nga mga with disabilities. So, daghan naman kaayon na. Nasa itong mainstream. Kanang with disability ang tayo, si parents kina sila. Kaya muna yung kada hospital po, mga si parents kina sila. Nahinayon na ito, with this training at nang ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひろひろと、ひ
um, uh, in my quad, in my school, so, kasi second year na ko, last year na, no, last year ko, so, murag, hindi nyo klaro kayong results sa reading sa mga bata. So, is, so, so this year, school year, namin na yung music test sa uh, first quarter, then kano ni sunod ko for the second quarter, sa kinder, akong na, 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 na discover ma'am na, um, name of letter versus sounds. Wala ang ano? So, if it's magpabasa ka, if it's A, it will like A. So, I told the kinder teacher na, so, ha, ito na ito ang liquor, no? Parang mag-example ko niya ba? Anyway, ah, uh, ang ang liquor teacher ko na mo actually is an education teacher. So, murag sa iyo, murag siya ma, magwan. So, murag mga mong nahimu ka solusyon, no? Kaya pagdawan sa kinder teacher, mag- A, B, C, D man, then listen kayo sila A, A, B, ano ba nag, ano pa, sa sounds. Then sa kinder po ma, ako po na-discover, um, kuan, ganang makuna, ah, sa second quarter is Filipino, makuna na sila sa Bobby B. Bobo, then third quarter comes sa English, usap pa sila mag-sounds. So, nag-book, mag-book at na ang bata ba nga, Bobby B. Bobo, kung nga, Bobby B. Bobo, at kung sa lali ni Lolo, lali ni Lolo, ano no? Then, ang sound, ang kuan, ang, ang sound sa pod, bukat na para niya. So, on, so, mo na pang panganong na una ng Filipino ay sa English. Kaya mo, kano na pang good kayo kung masounds dito, mabahala mo yun ang, ang bata is, ang bata ay magsaba. No? At least, nakabasa na yun. Later on, makabalong naman niya siya nga para niya. Then, I would like also to give emphasis, no, to, since I am a sped, Uh, principal, ingat ko sa akong teacher nga, nakagali mo yung bata nga, dili mo kong sabot na yung mga manifestations of like, isang unsakong ni Kyo, no? So do not worry, we have impact for grade 1. Diba? Muna siya, assistant na to nga, dili na pwede nga matong pa dahil nag-doctor, kaya wala mo na yung kwarta pa. So palihog, i-impact na to na siya. So, uh, mother may sa mom, um, I have someone to be one recommended for the the infant. Oh, uh, na sila yung mga kandidato para na din sa assessment. So, pagka grade 2, so doon po sa grade 2, ako po na ba din sa grade 2, dagagulay di ba? Ang problema nila is ang mga side words na po. Ito, mga dumb, mga hood, good. Kailangan lang ba sa buod, buod, kag, it is cold, kag. So, mga inanam mo, no? So, inanam. Thank you. So, that is also the... Uh... What? I was scouting my sports activities. I even suggested it to Sir Roy nga, Sir, ka nang ipitaw pa ba sa ayun na lang padulaan? Sakot na lang ito ba sa akin ang kaysa? Isang tukod ma'am, no? Muna ito na murag na, one na ron? They were not allowed to play. Okay, I suggested, oh, potential athletes na. Eh, pero di ka magkabasa. Sa doon ka. Ah, So, uh, we'll proceed first. Maybe your later we'll find out how to let the students read later in this session. Hinahinay lang. Hindi kayo pagpabasa. You will be using the books, the brochures, mga kasabiha. No. There is, there are strategies on how to. Now, what do you call this? Uh, look at the chart. There are word blocks there. Word blocks. What are the, these word blocks? How would you describe these word blocks? What are these for? Who are at the center? The teacher. 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 The So the first road block, word block, uh, going to the right, clockwise direction, evaluate the effects of their teaching. Next, are change agents. Talk, they talk more about the learning. They see assessment as feedback. They engage dialogue, not monologue. They enjoy the challenge. 
They develop positive relationships and they use the language of learning. What are these uh, roadblocks? Are this possibly happening in your school? Have you observed teachers doing this? In your school? Are they really acting like change agents, your teachers? Not all. How about engage in dialogue, not monologue? Maybe the Maritis Maritis lana sila din ha. Ah. Apil pata. Oh. They enjoy the challenge or they are sad with the challenge of letting the students live. Even the even in the result of our division achievement test, the adito oi. District per school, nothing alan sa school tinagsa with the result of last year's achievement test. So, uh, next time question. What does the principal need to do to foster a climate of learning to improve literacy instruction in the school community? With those problems you presented, no? you uttered, no? what are you going to do to foster a climate of learning? Kasi may tumuha ito, mo na nang problema yun. Isa pag kaysa yung masulti, the same problems. Same problems, similar. What are you going to do to foster a climate of learning? Kasi may buha ito na ito. Hmm? They're going to? How to stop? Yes. Mm hmm. Okay, very good. Strengthen the activities that you have now and then evaluate the result. Evaluation is really very important. You study the result. That will, that will be communicated, the result must be. And you can even inform the parents no? so that they can help us with this uh, with a problem. Next. What do you think can a principal achieve? When these qualities of teachers are manifested in the current leadership practice, let's share, okay, the same, na, the same word blocks. What do you think can you achieve when these qualities are manifested? Napapamoy ma-achieve ani with these qualities? Ah, wala. Depende. When your practice develops the positive relationships, okay. But when the your teachers are not in good uh, what is this in good relationships you know relation letter r is the most important thing in an organization big letter r relationship kung hindi may relasyon ninyo sa teachers they will not they are negative to change they get na and it's not only happening in your school it may also be happening in the in the District in the division office, even walay pag sinaptan na yung ginoong ko gamay mutang magkaiyayag buho-buho. How can we be united? How can we expect change? Hindi rin na magbuho. Let us be working in the same direction, moving in the same direction. In order to attain a super galing Norte division. Okay, how about in your district or school? You can look back before the pandemic, ask yourself what environment did the school heads foster to improve literacy? During the pandemic, what did you do to foster literacy? Ako yung amiga dito, big manicure, anay ang anak. Ba, tanawara ko si kuya, naliman ang kamo Diyos, o sa pag, isalipay. Nadugmok na to, nga naman, kapoy ko nung ansel, siya kabando, isalipay. Sa pandemic. Ipandong. O, yun pa si sir, like the iPad now, there are many uses of those. Pwede ipandong, pwede halim. Pwede tunan, ihilo, yun dito si sir, doping lip. Ipansiran, kung sa lain. Okay, let's go back, my friends. Let's go back to these word blocks. May I request you to align this with your 
five domains of the PPSSH. You align this. For example, going to the right up from the middle evidence by no to off. Okay, so what domain are this? Is each of them uh, aligned? Asa siya nga domain ma align. Did you memorize? Have you memorized your domains? Yeah. Nah, I will give you a copy. We analyze what uh, to what domain are these uh, word blocks. Word blocks. Word not word blocks. Are these word blocks uh, aligned? Awan na ba nang asasya na alay? Asa na domain? Ilong ba na siya sa domain 1? Domain 5? What specific uh, number in that domain, sir? Okay, magawas niya sa plan. What, what, uh, road block? Word block? Domain 3 ka na? Focusing on teaching and learning. Asa na ba na, sir? At Effect, yan eh, the first one. Yes, that is domain two, three. How about the others? Do not make a per facet to only one domain. There might be a word block that is applicable to three domains. Ama na siya? Pwede siya sa PICAS, pwede sa PICAS. Pwede pustanan. Tanawa ko rin niyo. Please see the alignment. Okay, what is your answer for... The first uh, word block. Evaluate the effects of their teaching. It is applicable to what domain? Or domain? Domain 3, correct. Check your answers. What other domains? Domain 1. Pwede siya sa? Domain 1. Correct. Uh -huh. Ah, our change agents. They are change agents. To what domains are these applicable? Or what el where, where else? Mm -hmm. What else? Agents of change. The connections. What e where else? The link connections. Where is she? Oh, asa naman yung link connections. Adi mo siya. Change agents. This is applicable to all domains. Okay, all agents don't shall change. She must embrace all the domains. What a poco head put. <laughs> then the next, talk more about the learning. Three. Uh, three. One. What else? One. Puede siya sa? One. One. Puede sa four. Please check, take note. I, this is now the alignment, no? Now, maday na diha sa inyo ang kuwan, PPSH. You have to master all the domains. Nasty ma. And then, uh, number four, see assessment as feedback. Three. More on? Three. Domain number? Three. 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 Yeah. It means entire law. Ano uh, ba? Five. four. Five. And it, it means entire law can be? In the five, main, five. four, where else? Five. Four point three, specifically, you know? The four point three. Five. And also be in? Five. Five, yeah, four, five. And also, others, are you now lost? Uh, are you now lost? Kung pa lost, lost, ito, ano yun, ito, readers, ano yun? Ito, joke na po. Uh... In case the dialogue, it can be in domain 1, specifically 1.6. Engaging the challenge can be? 1. Correct. 2. 2.6. Then develop positive relationship. It can be 4. 4.6, specifically 5. 5.11. 3.3 But where else? Pwede siya sa 1 Domain 2 Can be with 2 Asa pa siya pwede? 5 okay. Specifically in what uh, Part of uh, Domain 5 5.1 Or 5.3 So in this table Develop positive relationship 
Ano? Sa last na tanong, yes. use the language of learning. Wow. Asa man yung pwede? Learning. Okay. It can be in domain number three, what, where else? One. Four. It can be in, it can also be applicable in, One. it can also be aligned in five or four, four point eight. Okay. So, these are now the alignments from this work blocks to your previous page. Nagpay, mag-uni inyong buwan ni Ami? Work blocks. Okay. Uh, we'll move to the next. Move on. Dili na task on. Move on. So this is now, these are your five domains. Huh? As literacy leaders, we must be proficient in all of the literacy domains. What are the domains of literacy? Ito, those are the domains of PPSSH. Now, literacy domains. What are the different literacy domains? Give one. Oral. Oral. Oral lawa na. Oral reading. Oral language. Oh. What else? Listening, phonemic awareness, okay. fluency. How can you relate to literacy instruction if you cannot memorize all the domains? Print and book knowledge, study skills, study strategies, vocabulary development. Sa pasel, sa sapihi, smile, smile, and misisem. Sa pasel. Oh yeah, to create relevant strategies that will ensure the development of literacy skills. Among the students. Then I want to talk to the next video. We all. Okay, that might happen. Oh, but the start of it was well done. I mean, you didn't memorize. So, what's the idea of the whole thing? Equity, going, we will propose. Ang lagyot, kung pati, wala na sila nagtanaw aning ilang mga bata. That is why we have a lot of non-readers. Struggling with readers because you're just leaving this task behind. No? Just, uh, giving this task, this responsibility to your teachers. You seem to forget all these things. Ayaw, ginikalipi, this is part of your task as two leaders. Uh, Nanawa na? Dayon. These are the five strands. Listening, speaking, reading, writing, and viewing. These are integrated na sila strands. Listening, speaking, these are the macro skills actually. And this can be taught no, in integration. Hindi man ka pwede magtudlong karo mo listening ra katanan. Pwede ni ay, listening ra, dili katuwa na dalugagan. Listening ra, dili magbayaw-yaw, dili pwede. These are integrated and even values is integrated across all disciplines, across all subjects. Ano siya? So, the puno natin domains. Domains of literacy. Ganihan ay puto. Karo, ang sama na. Matiyon, ito pa, matiyon. These are now the domains. Ang istorya sa bata. Sa registra, panginaw sa bata. These are the domains. Well, again, ang hindi lumingon sa pinagalingan, Karoon ng stiff neck. Sama na yun, nagulikin. Nakita ka niya kung liog? My friends, in short, the shaded areas, there are shaded areas. Kapag nung ano, shaded na, kung tanong tama ba yun, ditira si leaders man mo. Pasabot. Yes. Ang nene? Those gray areas mean those Oh, the non-shaded areas means that these are to expected to be developed where the gray areas are stop. Oh, in all these stages, in that particular domain, Ramang Tudir, sa oral language, tamay man siya sa language, tamay man siya grade twelve, sampo. Then, phonological, they are expected to be learned. This is expected to be learned up to grade 3. Oh, grade 3 na taman. 
Pray na list naman raw ta grade 3 but why is it that most of our learners arriving at senior high school dili ka basta na Gisida <laughs> naman na din ha tama na diha kani ni ang alphabet knowledge nga naman ito di man ka basta ang M O A basta ho pa na den ta ko ano fluency na tama sa grade 10 fluent ang bata pero dapat pa kadili fluent Spelling also, expected up to 6, kabalo na. Eh, grammar, nalang mga gagamang hindi kabaloan ng grammar. Pisa kita, sa'yo kaya punta grammar. Mm. In our write-ups, we seem to be ungrammatical sometimes. There are erroneous parts. Napag-iapon. That's why, di gold-gold na, di iapon matapang. Sana, it's my stress sa una. Doon na pito ito eh, si ma'am. Principal Osa. Ano po ka? Ngayon siya nga, the school hates. Ano siya mga bayo bayo? Ano po ka? Why do you start for us that for the school hates? Ma'am, sana po na ako maestra. That is the way we were going to talk. That is the way we were taught by our teacher. School hates. Kaya nagkita mo dahil may pata. Mother tongue, pinanok yo. Ganang tongue. Sa una tongue. Oh, ang pagka. Teacher, pero ang pagka ni awat niya. Pero si Ma'am Balde, bisa kito chwer na katong si Ma'am Balde ba sa region? Tang, kits ka. Tay, mother tang. Ula. Pinig ula. Ano na siya? Hanawa, nakita ninyo na asa yung kudlo. O. Aron, di rin ata. Definitions. Please read the definitions. O, we will request some of you. Oral language. Is that you read the definition, Anna? Please read. Ma'am. Ma'am, doctor. Doctor. That's why, when I'm talking to reading teachers, see to it that they have a complete set of teeth. Okay. You need to pronounce the word. So, you pronounce it. I'm not mad. You need to put on the table and you need to put on the table and you need to put on the table and you need to put on the table. Oral language means the system through which we use spoken words to express knowledge, ideas, and feelings to communicate with each other. Right, teacher. The teacher of this is... Who is the teacher? 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 Nak readers kita ni ruan. Okay, next for this table, man. For the logical and kinetic awareness, refers to the relationships between the individual sounds, phonemes of spoken language and the letters, graphemes, of reading language. Phonological awareness refers to the ability or skill to hear, identify, and manipulate sounds of speech or phonemes. Okay, phonics and word recognition at now. Phonics and word recognition. Refers to the sounds and spoken words. <laughs> Relate to the pattern. Related to the pat. Relate to the patterns of. Relate to related to the patterns of letters and written words in predictable and often generalized ways. Phonics involves teaching the relationship between letters of written language and the sounds of spoken language. 
the next, uh, how about listening uh, comprehension? Okay, for listening comprehension refers to the ability to make sense of spoken language. It involves several processes like recognizing sounds, understanding what words mean, understanding sentence structures, and making sense of what is heard. Now, vocabulary, how do you define it? Vocabulary refers to the words we must understand to communicate effectively. First, the words you must understand to communicate effectively. Fluency. What is fluency? <laughs> fluency, the ability to read orally with speed with accuracy, proper expression. <laughs> Writing and composition. Formulate ideas in context and represent them into conversational orthography. Next slide, please. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much. So these are now the definitions of the different domains of literacy among the 14 domains. There are 14. Now, what teaching strategies are your teachers using to teach literacy, literacy skills in your schools? You are always observing teachers, no? When you observe them, of course, you know the different strategies that the teacher usually implement, usually employ in her or his classes, his class, no? So what are these strategies? Give one. Oral, then what the, in the, in introducing oral language, what are the strategies? Activities, for example, or a language, meaning sounds, phonetics, okay, what else? Other strategies from from Rojas uh, to the beauty there, Mag Milet. Milet. Do not pronounce her name as Milet. Milet. Swa sound, the second L-I. Not Milet. Oh yeah, what strategy do you usually employ in your class? There are many strategies in the world. I've been teaching for 20 years plus, but I make my own strategy. Uh, I name it spell strategy. That is vocabulary development in connection to a reading comprehension. And I'm using it in my classroom. So oh, uh, spell it stands for select, point out, and then spell na kalimot ako. Explain, lear, uh, lead, and then learn. During the first day, and the uh, the pupils will be given a selection. It could be a story, a poem, or anything, any selection, an essay. And then they're going to select words that they don't understand. Okay, then. And then on the second day, they are going to point out, uh, they will be working in groups, so that they will be able to choose only 10 vocabulary words, which are the most difficult to all of them. And then on the third day, the teacher, I will be explaining to them the, the meaning of the words, the root words, the prefixes, the suffixes, and all the excess. Okay, so that you, and then I'll be explaining it to them in the vernacular, too, okay. so that they will understand. And on the fourth day, that will be the lead. Okay, each of them will be given turns to lead. So they will be explaining, they will be having a contest, uh, for example, blank is that I'll be giving the meaning of the word and they will give the word. 
so I'm a contest. So because there's a different feeling when a child is given the opportunity to live, yes. they will feel important. And then on the last day, they will be the learn. They will be learning. So I'll give them the spelling, the spelling contest, the spelling, the written, or it can be all around. Okay, thanks, Fiona. Yeah. Congratulations for that strategy. That is your own, your localized, your, your own strategy. Self-discovered strategy. Because I remember when I was in elementary and high school, spelling is very, very useful to me. It helped me a lot. And spelling and vocabulary is the focus, are the focus. So uh, you can benchmark from that uh, strategy of mom with them. Thank you. Clap your hands for that lady. Thank you, Lene. How about the other guy there from Serious Men? Yeah. Can you share to us? Ruby. Okay, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, co-participants. So in my English class, um, especially that I'm teaching grade 6 special science class, so I always use differentiated instruction, uh, of which there is cooperative learning. So I always also uh, I always apply um, just chant, finger plays, mga poems, ma'am. Ano siya? Ako na siyang gikuan, ako na siyang ginagamit para ang bata na ma, um, they will learn with their um, with their peers ilang mga kauban mga tongue twisters so they are not just developing their vocabulary but as well as their pronunciation and um, their cooperative learning so can I see yes thank well. you very much and that is you are also developing fluency you know in uh, fluency Mamlilet is uh, talking about vocabulary development that is part of the big six there's no other way, there's no other best way to teach reading except the big six. Phonological and phonemic awareness, phonics and word recognition, fluency, oral language. Then we have uh, reading comprehension and also vocabulary development. This are the big six. Kanigit siya ang haligi, paunsa, makudlo, the best strategies in reading. And reading is uh, misunderstood. Why is it that reading, uh, we feel in reading, it's because Many of us fail to understand what reading is. We don't understand what reading is. And that's why in the nature of reading, it is expressed. There are two legs, two wings. The left side, there are there the different strategies. Nakatong mga phonics, word recognition, tanan. In the left wing. In the right wing, we have all the reading strategies. There are 12 sub-skills in reading comprehension. Like identify main idea, identify details. Uh, sequencing events that is yet to be done. This is the first time that we We just feel to understand what is the first time that we have to do. It's not just a little bit. Okay. Thank you for your response. Let's move to the next. Now, let's have the instruction. We have these two approaches. We have the top down and we have the bottom up approach. How can you differentiate these two approaches? How can? Who can differentiate? Anybody from uh, this team? You may raise your hand if you want to share your idea. What is top down? Top down. Kana na kung inum duman ng motor, no? Na, tap down ang motor, ikaw ang ato, pero maarang ang tanang pasahiro o kusap ay ikarga. Lahi ko ni siyang tap down. Yes, Ruby. Sir Rubes. For me, ang tap down is teaching from general to specific, while bottom down is teaching from specific to general. I mean, bottom up. bottom up. Top down talks about, or it teaches from general to specific, while bottom up is teaching from specific to general. Okay, thank you for that idea. Another one, who can share? Sir, my friend, my, sir, Magduba, my 
partner in English. I have three partners. Si Sir Matuba, si Mang Inday, Tubal, and Mang Jin Bolanon. It's closely related to what um, Mr. Kalum Sadam said. That is closely related to inductive and deductive method. General to specific, specific to general. Okay. Another idea. Thank you, sir, friend. Another idea. Mom Lorna, start me on. Friend. Good afternoon. As I analyze the the picture there, it's the impact of the the reader to the book, and that is the top down. And the bottom up is the the impact of the book to the learner. So it's one way around how the teacher leads in the reading, motivating the reading skills. The other uh, anyone who wants to share? So thank you very much for the three of you. Okay. For the top-down approach, Mom Judy. Everything is good level. Top-down literacy instruction is an approach where learners focus on understanding the whole context before delivering uh, uh, the details in language text. Okay. Okay. with a student's learner's experience. From that experience, no? from the learner's experience, he can talk about his experience, he can read, he can write from talking, he can speak from his experience, and he can write and read what he has stated. So, it talks about, it simply refers to the child's uh, background knowledge or prior knowledge, the schema of the child. While the bottom up refers to the teacher's direct instruction to the children. Direct from the teacher, direct. From the top down, from the experience of the child, bringing these experiences in the classroom, so you will have that schema. And then from that experience again, now speak. He can all write and read his right up. Uh, that is. But uh, between these two, we have somehow to balance the approach. That is why we have balanced approach, balanced literacy. Let's go. Okay. Ang top down, nagsubo na siya from the students' experiences. Uh, students' experience brought to the classroom. The teacher is giving them the opportunity like mentioned, okay, uh, your topic is on adjective. You will send the students to oh, outside. You will send them outside. The topic is on adje adjective. You're going to let them write something. So from outside, they have that experience observing what the, they can see around. Then when they go back, they will, you will let them speak. Speak na sila. From that speaking, uh, you will ask them questions. Then you will let them write. Uh, then share, uh, oh, right. Maguna is speaking, then sharing, writing, then reading. Sharing, oral, siya oral, and they will write and share, then they will read what they have written. Anasha <coughs> sits up down. 
Pero ang kuan kana ang bottom up, this starts with direct instruction from the teacher. Mo na to nga didactic, direct siya. Wa siya naminaw sa unsay kuan sa mga bata. Ana siya. So, uh, the oral language development in mother tongue to medium of teaching language. If OTL means medium of teaching language, this is a top down. We have the uh, strategy here, which is the layout. They talk about the experience, the nawa. Draw it, write it, read it. Mm. Plana siya, uh, uh, the Leia. Example for oral language, Leia. Talk about the experience, draw, write, read. And then you can also use the five W's and H question and answer. You will uh, ask questions from from the learners about their experience with outside. Exchanging exchanging questions with learners while reading a text. As they read a text, you can have uh, exchange of ideas through questioning. I have listened to the coaching and mentoring. You're done with this mentoring and coaching. Yes, ma'am. There was one in that group who said that I will be really prescribing. Why I was laughing at the back because you know when we cut short of our questioning, we don't prescribe. They come to me, so please, so please, I go questions. We don't to prescribe because you are tired of asking questions, or you will still be thinking as to how to formulate the questions. That is why what uh, we need. Another training for you, for us, no? is the art of questioning. The next move, okay, quarta, I will ask budget from Bonga that the art of questioning in uh, solo. We will share that to you because we train high school teachers, pero ang mga school heads wala na train. Kanang art of questioning plus the solo based approach. Kaya no. So, how can you put monitor because they are not trained? Okay. Now, how can you relate? They are not trained. 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 They are not then we have this strategy under Leia, sketch to stretch. You're going to sketch in order to stretch your ideas. Stretch your, what is in your mind? Sketch. That is visualization. Visualizing. Right. Okay, class. How do you tell us, uh, in your own opinion, how can you show us the idea about peace? Oh, ako gusto dyan tiga po na yun. Rokta na ugya po. Dahil, ikulang na ko. Ano siya nga? They will draw siguro daw. No? That will symbolize peace. Or other symbols of peace. So that is sketching to stretch your emotions, your ideas, your opinions through drawing. And that is uh, developing the higher order thinking skills. Nice. Ay siya paminaw, no? Sketch to stretch. Wow. Ayun, another one is Bringing reaching strategies. Uh, Sanitizing and comparing mother tongue with mother uh, with uh, medium of teaching language. Tanawan niyo na ha? M O T L, the medium of teaching language. What is the medium of teaching language? Like, uh, uh, for example, in Arpan, what is the medium of instruction? Filipino in values, Filipino in English. Muna siya M O T L. Then, uh, at sound level, and word, word level, and sentence level. Then we have comprehension top-down. Leia again, inquiry, predicting. There are many activities in predicting outcomes. You refer to the re uh, reading brochures. Naidaghanatog activities. And mind you, I would like to announce in this August body that sooner you will receive the copies of the reading brochures. These are now naanasyaray kuan. Uh, we already have our name, brand name, at core, E N C O R E, meaning competency based activities for optimal reading enhancement in English. We had we are given a budget of 2.3 M something for 
by the SDS to an nag print that we had already our mga bidding bidding. Then, uh, as I counted the number of copies per level, katong may level 1, 2, 3, plus teacher's guide, one siya, 167 ray up sa kwarta. But there is one uh, bidder from Manila, from that book company, that sudla niya of 500 copies per, per one, per level. So, that will be brought to your schools now, door to door. Happy na na siya, may man that may be used in your schools and that those are level. Then we have here the vocabulary layer, the side words, please. Kapalun mo ana, sketch to stretch still, the same strategy for vocabulary development, exposing students to side words, please. The OBSEL. For OBSEL, you refer this, this is Google Ball, refer this to the write up of Maria Corazon F. Morilia, not Montilia. Oxy, you did feel. Nasa dito, nice nice strategies. Ako nang yapil, pero taas kaya siya. Ito mo nalang magita, anak. Oxy, if search that Oxy, then magbawas na siya. Nice kaya siya. Next literacy domain is phonological awareness. That is bottom up. All the activities in the previous slide are all are all top down. Taro ni ata sa bottom up. Ah, uh, teaching starts. Taya rhyming. What is rhyming? <coughs> what is the the difference between rhyming and alliteration? Ending sound. Alliteration. Initials. Consonant. Initials. At the end, uh, repeat. Ang uh, rhyme. Say repeat. at the end. Ang rhyming. Rhyming. Oh, rhyming. You have the same final sound or ending sound. Rhymes na siya. If the same beginning sound or initial sound, alliteration. So, example of pandemic awareness, we have there, Leia writing alliteration poems and songs. Singing with the learners and teaching them rhymes and poems. Phonics and word recognition, decoding bottom up. See, we have the old Elkonin boxes. Are you familiar with Elkonin boxes? LM, the LM group. Reading teachers, students in the LM, I know before you were reading teachers. Kapalumog and Tony Baxes. In their handouts, this is the handouts from the Ilaling Slice of Central Office. Mora na, ingon anak lang. Ito ni, phonological, but there are no activities. Wala sila, but I did prepare some activities for this. I really go down to your level so that we will understand each other. What are the examples of Mga Leia, ako ning lidugangan ni ilang slides. Kung sa example sa mga activities for phonemic awareness, phonological, I know this. Later, we will come to that. So, Elkonin also, I will let you have a taste of what are these Elkonin boxes. And these are good strategies to teach your learners how to read. Fluency bottom up and top down. Pwede ang fluency bottom up and it can also be top down. Because sometimes a learner can come up with his own story. Na pwede na kung niyang masahon for fluency. Fluency like the nang speech choir, maging mga shot sentence, ya ah. Pwede naman na, ya ah. Basta dita niya, that is top down. O kora reading, body reading, independent reading laya. Writing and composition, this is both bottom up and top down. Laya, labeling, kana labeling, like. Uh, you are going to label that in the, in the list. You are going, going to label whether these are flowers. Kana nga lang tanan niya ang sani flowers to labeling. Kani tanan ang sani fish. Oh, nakai list ng mga animals. Oh, di mo lang may label labeling. Butang ni mga animals. So this is labeling. Example. Very uh, just simple things that you ought to know because you are now certified literacy leaders after this training. Certified na tayo po. Phonological awareness, this is the ability to, uh, or skill, to hear, identify, and manipulate sounds of speech. We move across the continuum for simple to complex. Mora na ilang notes, tana, masabta na ilang nine video. If you cannot try, if you cannot touch what are these things. Phonemic awareness, oh, mora na siya. This falls under phonological. Then phonemic awareness is the anak-anak of phonological awareness. 
Phonemic blending, when you, you blend sounds. Phonemes, the ability to break a word into individual sounds. Phoneme segmentation, you are going to break sounds into pieces, in small, smaller parts. Phonemic substitution, when you are going to substitute a sound to another sound, like uh, bat, b, at, b, at. What is the sound? The initial sound is And you are going to change it with What is the word now? It becomes mad. Oh. So that is uh, phoneme substitution. Okay? The substitute. Mo man na good. That ang error sa miscue sa door. Substitution. Right. Similar sounds at the end of two or more words. Example. Cat. Bat. Two. Two. Okay, here we are now. Get ready for this activities. Uh, this is a seven item test for activity one where you're going to respond. Okay, I will call by table. Tell me the first song in Ted Osmania. Everybody. <laughs> Oh, in aspirate. Tell me the song that is the same in hair, bath, and rap. Pinyan. Be the sound. Ah, what else? Are there other sounds? Uh -uh. Okay, letter. How about number three? Ulanko. Which word does not belong? Ten. Tick tock. Tick. Seed. Which word does not belong? Seed. word belong? The word? Seed. Seed. Very good. What word is? Trap. Trap. What word? Trap. Trap. Everybody open your mouth. Trap. 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 How many songs are there in Nice? Nani Bertan? How many songs? Two. What are the songs? Three. Uh, go to the mic, please. How many songs Three. are there in the word Nice? Nee. 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 You replace in play with slay. 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 If it does, slay. slay. Okay, very good. Slay. 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 Yung activities sa mga bata. Yes. One of the activities on that show. In yung tipopon, ang mga dinig na basa, ayaw na yung pungiti dito mga libro, lagman, magbasa mo. Ito may strap pa dito. Sige, basa. Basa na. Report Congratulations. Congratulations. No, that should not be. Inana in your putanga na dito mga libro ni pabasahon. No, there are strategies. Basic sound lagi. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this one. We're going to recite a rhyme. Okay, group, group Rojas, recite number one. With uh, you emote. When? Okay, number two. Uh, this is for uh, Lana Bertan again. 
Number two. You emphasize the uh, the words which are <coughs> highlighted. Uh, uh, emphasize it and give the correct sound. sound. Again. Open your mouth. Again. Sorry. Dancing the pants. Very good. Uh, and then everybody read what is uh, in the square. No? Thank you. Okay. Emphasize the word which is happening. Ready? Go. Thank you. So thank you, God, for my eyes and feet, for plants and trees, and for the food I eat. Next. Now, papasa ko mga bata. Then, primero, di pa man nila mahulog yung basa ato pata later sa sound. Okay, this is sentence segmentation. Let the pupils count the number of words in a sentence by walking, by clapping, or jumping. Ilang emphasize, ilang ka words na siya. Uh, number one, Mang Dip. Mang Dip, number one. Read the first sentence with actions. You just choose one. You may walk, you may clap, or you need, you may jump. I lost many. How many words? Three. Very good. So we at uh, small kids this time. Struggling readers in grade three, ha? Okay. Okay. Kana kung magmaista ta ani nila. At the arti po ta ba? Pagsigit tagsiro si Dudi. Ito ang bata. At look. Kinanglan ta na ato sila puyong-puyong. Good. Okay, number two. Number two. Sir Markoy. You're so silent there. Number two. Action. How many words, sir? Four. Very good. Silent by the shop, you pee. Number one. Number three. Number three. Sir. Sir, Ikea. <laughs> Number three. Walk and little are praise. Walk and little are praise. Ben and Leto are praise. <laughs> Slide dito sa piraan. 
Ngayon tani nga slide bi. Rubi. Ngayon tani nga. The butterflies fly in the garden. Ana mo ani. Ani? Nasa ko na mo seminar na. Nasa ko pa. Nasa slide. Butterflies fly to the garden. Sa garden gigan. Woman ng ani. Orang mana? Mana itu ani? High school bangam. Kamu tadi, kamu yang kesukaan. Imam. No action. Imam Kel. Imam Kel. Kita kan ada yang lebih sebaik saya. Mak, mak, mak. 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 Mak, So, can we be correct? Ready? Are you listening to your classmates? Are you listening to us? The butterfly fly. The butterfly. The butterfly fly. In the garden. Ah! Very good. I will give you eighty-five. Yesterday. Oh, eighty-five. Can you also do what he does? What he did? Yes. Why did you not do your action, Rosella? Next time. Okay. This is how you are going to segment. Dividing the words, uh, the words in a sentence. Back in that integration, reading ma, and then uh, in here you are not going to show them the words. You will the teacher will say it orally, the the sentence orally, but then the child will do the the kids will just do the action. If nila tanaw na because you know teaching uh, Monological awareness can be done in a dark. What else? What other activities uh, uh, you know that you can do in the dark? That can be done in the dark. Uh, do it in the dark. Oh, so many. Tatawa makadai. So this is one of the activities. Let's proceed. For mastery, we have another activity. Anina. <laughs> Syllable splitting. In here, this is another. Bawa na kami ng pabasa ng bata ng practice of reading. Ay sa tagay kong libro. Ako kay ko. Ah, let the pupils count. Count the number of words. No, the count the number of syllables na siya in a word. Correction na. Let the pupils count the number of syllables in a word. By hopping, stamping, or tapping the table. Okay. Who can read number one? Ah, this group. Number two. The one. Again, go together. How many syllables? One. Pronounce the words again, children. Yes. Again. Yes. Very good. Is the answer correct? Yes. Okay. How about number two? Ah, uh, what result? result? Uy, hello, ida, tagalisa, nakaday. Parin, tapi to result. Sige. Number two, how many syllables? How many syllables? Two. Pronounce the word correctly, my dear. Cat. Thank you. Okay. 90%. This one also is 90%. Number three. One hundred ramon ya. Number three. Uh, Ruas two. Oh, how many syllables? Go. How many words? No syllables. There are three syllables. Number five. Pinyan. Ah, number four. 
of your syllables. Four. Very good. 95%. Okay. Number five. Number five. This one, this group, Kapipuna 2. Uh, number five. How many syllables? Others are not participating. You will only get 80. <laughs> <laughs> How many syllables? Four. four. Oh, four only. Five padro na iti naman sila. Next activity. Na remember na niyo activities? Ito kada sila ni tapin tapin na yapo kada yapo. Na lang tani niyo. Next blending of onsets and rhymes. What are onsets? These are the beginning sounds. No, the plural. Uh, the plural letters, uh, no, the, the consonant letters preceding the vowel letter of a word. Preceding the vowel. Okay, step. The first sound is a consonant. first letter is a consonant. Less than add. Add. Sad. So, vowel to the that is now the right. The first consonant is the consent. Yeah. Okay. Everybody read, uh, present on sets and rhymes and blend. Uh, now we that again. What is the onset of the first word? Then rhyme, then give the exact words. Go, now we that. Again. Okay. And sad. Now on. Go, again. Uh, next slope, this one. Next one. Here it is. Two, two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Sounded as okay, go louder. Okay, cook and cat. Next is the group of Rojas. Rojas, what? Go, please. Very good, very good readers. Next, uh, the group of Sibutat, na? Sibutat? Ah, uh, sige, go. Sibutat team. Sibutat team. Go. Sibutat? Ah, uh, sige, go. Ah, uh, sige. Go, kanina. Count ko sa kakipunan din. Kakipunan one. Go. Again? The last one, Sibutan. Sir, I. Asa si Sibutan. Again. Sir, Very good. Clap all your hands for the active participation, children. Uh, I will go give you your snacks tomorrow morning. Another activity. Counting the sounds, not the letters. You're going to count the sounds this time, but not the letters. You have to listen to the sound of the words. Now, modern explicitly how to isolate individual sound in a word. Isolate the sound, sounds using either motion, air in boxes, or counters. Touch the box as you say the sound. So, fluffy, stomping the feet are too common. You can give them another strategy this time by using the Elkonen boxes. Ang Elkonen, mauna na siya, just have a touch. Just have a taste also. I have here the Elkonen boxes. They have one. Your name. This is my other, another student. Bulak, one. 
Ayun ko sa taas na niya, mama. Ma'am, ma'am, maniklamot na kayo. Sama sana ang mga bata. After this day niya, maniklamot na kayo. Ma'am, kas lang kayo. Makalitayo na ka po. Ito ka ba sa mga bata? Ayun, di ka ba sa nila. Ito ka ba sa nila. Kuha ang isa ni. And this is, this is the appearance of the Elkonen boxes. Ina na ragot? Then anything, ito mo din, tibura. The boxes here represent the number of sounds. Two, two boxes, two sounds. Three, four, five, six. Puno na. Para na alam mo yung face. So that the learners in your classrooms will enjoy ang mga non-readers hindi magulas na magyata sa mga salun na anak. But they are learning under the supervision of the teachers. And then, I have here the guide words. Na naman magigay boxes. Guide. It's different na po yung per table. We have here six words. Wait, you know, mga ulo mo ba? Ah, kanin. Ah, sa mga saran, abaw mo yung ayaw ng julid kay Mudagan. Mga pebbles, and natay stones. Sagayin na po yung tingang po per table. Stones. Ayaw mo patuhan na yung children, ha? After you play. It's just a game. Oh, read the words. You can start now. If you receive the list of words, just have a taste. Saka buok. Pwede naman po na mag-clap-clap, pero common. When I had my training in the region, Ani, mabaguhan sila, pinilot po daw ng inana. Sila sa kada ng box-box. And 20. 20 kay 6. Wala ka na 6 plus 5, plus 4, 40, plus 3, 80, plus 2, 20, 20 stones, 20 pebbles. Start now! Ako yun yung pinag-to ng sounds nila, yun ako nila likod. Then I will go around and check. So, ano po tayo? We will have our last talk na for senior. I will include the students. All students are in the seminary. Nagkakabubat siya. Ito na siya, palitan ko. Pag-i-reading na siya ako. Sweet gold. Panagotan siya. Oh, for the next two goals, para na siya sa senior high. But my aim is to include all the school heads, Ellen and Kendari. Last na lang na siya. Last na siya, para ninyo ma, buhal ka na mag. Ah, kuwan niyo itong first day. So, dito ko na eh. Yan, kuwan na lang siya. Kuwan na niya kung ito siya. Kuwan na niya. Kuwan na niya kung mga ito. Ang goal is, ito na approach siya sa niya. You, that training, goal training is still accredited. We will have our last goal name. With a senior high, that we will include on the principal. Kasi natin sila kung buha. High school at LM. Okay, so that they can see a first train. Okay, start now. Start and put the necessary stones. Only one stone in a box. One sound, one stone. Then he has a tag. 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 Oh, I'm going to use it. 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 So, I'm going to use it. 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 Pwede na siya, gawa mo yung stone, pwede yung patatas, buta, pwede yung mais, pwede yung isang kunsa lang, na nahalay ko, na hindi ka wang mga bata. Pero namin kong pagkaon, hindi kayo, isa yung 100 na yun, hindi ka, on po sila, lula ba, they are learning. 
Angdil pila. Zuman.
Eat. Everybody saw the words? Eat. Donkey. Eat. Eat. Bowl. Bowl. Okay, what are the sounds? What are the letters? in the sound of this letter in the word. For example, the word B-O-W, what are the sounds? Next, this one. Next, number one. 
Birds. 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 Birds.
But now you can awareness and pandemic awareness. What is the difference really? Napas yung kalainan? Punologic ka, the big umbrella, bigger umbrella, and the pandemic awareness is the anak-anak. Under siya sa punological awareness. I am, am I still audible at the back? Yes. Audible, not edible. Yes. <laughs> Did I say edible? Paunon, makaon pa. May asig pa. Karun. <laughs> Job on me. How do these differences impact instruction and the way your readers learn? But also, in phonological awareness, maka impact pa siya instruction and the way the learners will learn? Makakabang nili. Just play. Just, they will just play, but this will impact. And then, in teaching the terms, phonological awareness and phonetic awareness are often used interchangeably because they not only do. They not only do uh, because not only do they look and sound similar, but they mean something similar to phonological awareness, phonetic awareness, or mama or people. They are there is a slight difference. Now let, let's go back to this top down and bottom up. Then we have this balanced literacy approach. When you say top down, it should start with the students' experiences outside. Okay, ready to the classroom, but when you say uh, bottom up, they start from the teacher's direct instruction. What about the give the dance rules? Ang isang tumanggod, uh, like in teaching grammar, traditionally, you teach grammar with the rules first. So, na, ganun sa teaching of grammar. But later, when you teach grammar, uh, you are going to give them the activities first, like the four A's. Activities first, then later. Let the pupils, the, the students, discover the rules. Sila yung mag-discover sa rules. Okay, then what are we going to do with this activity? Then tell us the team activities, like adjectives. You're giving them pictures, and they have heard full of pictures. Let them describe, let them uh, make a paragraph, they make a story. Then later, kung saan ibuha ito nangin? Uh, Pausa din siya. Ana-ana-ana-ana. Sila na yung maghimok sa rules. That is developing them to think critically. Okay. Yes. The balanced inquiry literacy approach. As literacy leaders, you must know this. This uh, top down authentic experiences in reading and writing. Uh, Background, knowledge is there. Predict and guess words and meaning. For the bottom up, alphabet knowledge, phonics, decoding, spelling, level readers, Nanisha sa 2 state, 2 c 2 ia reading instruction model. Next time in our next uh, forum, we discuss about the 2C 2IA model, where 2C stands for comprehension and construction. When you say comprehension, this is our aim for the students to let them understand what they read. When you say construction, still construction of meaning. Then, uh, one is yeah, bottom up, uh, balance, we have to balance that too. We have to eat, tono tono natin yung doha. Ano bitaw ang guitar? Ato man ang ayuhon. I-align nato ng kwerdas. So that we can come up with a sonorous sound. The skills. The, uh, as you pluck your guitar. Nakakumiyaw-yaw mo. Ano na siya? Balance na ito. Even our umahimot ay balance ako pamuyo, no? Our family, oh, mabalance. Hindi balance yun. Hindi madala akong dami. <laughs> Charu! Next, reflect on your school situation, my dear literacy leaders. Which of the approaches, these three approaches, need be applied to your current situation? Asa ani ang pwede apply in your situation now in your school? Which approach is dominant that may account for the low performance? Asa na approach ani tulong ang dominant na maoy hinong dance sa low performance? What have you done in your school? Think. Think. Think twice or thrice. Ay, nasa'yo yung filming. Ulay, low. Hindi ka na alam ang good na approach at humiga. Kani naman, good. Ha? So, ang say buha ko na to. What is the advice? Why are you going to? 
Pero talagang nangunta na ko sa ikigamit na ako. Stop down para ma. O na map yun mo. Teacher only from the kids of rules. Teacher na yun. Hindi balance ng luha. Kung ask God, kung gamit ko, Now reflect on your situation. Which of the approaches are neglected? Asa sa approaches na nila inyong nabiyaan na neglect ninyo? Na ba'y na neglect o wakapot? May gamay. O, top down, na neglect. Gamay. Pero, this is our realization that we have to cater to the both. Gadali. Man tayo mahuman ang kompetensi sa quarter one. Gadali kayo makuan anak-anak. Hindi man kung tag power to power. Do not jump. Because all these lessons are spiral. Dito magdali. How can you bring the balance? Paon sa ninyo i-balance? How can you bring the balance? Pwede siya i-balance? Pwede. O pwede, pwede. Huwag yun. O di pwede? Depending on the... Yeah. You can also use the top down. It depends. You can also sometimes use the bottom up if it needs to be used. Depende man. Kung pumagamit, kung i-balance ka po, tingla-tingla, ready mo. Oh. Ma, ben. Pero okay man siya di hapon. Top down siya. But that is really what we are going to do. You ask the prior knowledge from the student. How are you going to balance? Yeah, na how pa na nila ito siya o? What is this? The explicit instruction. The master models. That is the I two. Teacher supports learners to take practice. We do. And the last one, the learners work independently, that is the EU. This is the most exciting part of explicit instruction. When the students cannot stand alone. When they can now uh, be left alone. Sabot na sila. And then, but then, at the start, ikaw gil mag-guide. Guide ka, as teacher, I do, we do. Everybody say, I do. I do. I do. We do. We do. You do. You do. Ang may mayroong I do, we do, you do. Ang mga mag-judo, karate. Natawa lang ito. I do. Ang mga bata galing ka na sa publik galing ang pinayakyang ayo. Sana? Good morning. Thank you, mga natin. Thank you. Sana siya? The balanced literacy approach used in the K to three classrooms. The K to three applicable shop, but if it is needed, it is still applied for the higher levels. Then do it. Ako ba ta na buo sa senior K to three bayad ko to? Ito ba sa junior? Junior. Ko na it is also applicable where it's needed. When it's needed, as the leader writes So why is it applicable in the K to three classrooms? Why do you think it is effective? The four reasons to select balanced literacy approach is number one, it follows a gradual release of responsibility model. Teacher responsibility. This is the inverted pyramid. The other one, the usual format. Uh, focus instruction, the opposite side, we have the I do it. I do it, this is on the teacher's part, the co-dacotial part. Greater responsibility on the teacher's, uh, of the teacher. Guided instruction that we do while the students are doing the activity, the teacher is still having a greater responsibility. We do. And here, The collaborative learning, you do it together 
together with the teacher's team. And the last one, independent learning, you do it alone. That is why uh, in the uh, advent of the K-12 curriculum, we are going to teach the children things that are applicable to real life situation. We have to teach them things that will prepare them for life after school, not life after death. After school, when they are prepared, that they can survive. They that will be surviving after school. That they will always remember when they graduate from your school, even if they were struggling before, they will always remember why they came to your school. When they left your school, they will always remember why they came. So they will always find reason. I learned many things from that school. I like my principal. Si sa mapilya, may paayo. Naghaching ito, lo, na magdamit na ko ka lang sa pinaboy. I, I met a driver sa rural bitaw, panong pagalian. Ano siya nga? Iskot na ito, ano? Iskot siya. Pambalbi ko, no? Wala ka ila siya mabalbi nga, hindi ay na. Amo na siya sa una, namin sila mang work. At that time, may katrabaho sa ila. And then, she taught us many things. Applicable in life now, ma'am. Ang iyan, isulti na mo, ma'am. Basta na ko kay impact sa ako kinabuhi. Na ayaw ko maayong hari sa pamilya. Hindi na ko kalimtan ang itudlo, ma'am. Nahimo ko, na maayaw na siya mag-manage sa iyan mga... Sa iyan life, na sila yung may nga kwan na po, pag kinabuhi. But all the things, the virtues that he, he, got, he got from Mang Bali is still in him. The linger pa din sa MI. And I really praise Mang Bali for that. Remember siya. Yung anak ba? That you will release students who are marketable. Globally competitive. Not only globally. So global. Saan na Baldi? Global, but globally competitive. Like global. Huh? Low, go global. Low, tali, competitive students. They're globally competitive, but locally. Naibata na. Sala, nangapokan ito. Histo ka ng mga asasa. Sa kuna yung mga 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 nag-jin. Oh, they are not what? Acquainted with what's happening in the local. Inaglan na itong nag-ibalas. Wala nang sinabado. Ato nga nila, eh, wala na. Di na kaina. Maraming bakit. Eh. It's the best of both worlds. Ikaduha prason. Nga nung pinita sa balas ni Chavasi, it's the best of both worlds. Number three, muna siya is the best. Kaya nabalans, magod siya po. So we are still giving attention to top down and the other one, the bottom up. It doesn't force the teacher to fit it all in. To fit it all in. Wala na siya the course sa maestra na ng balance approach na ipit in yung bata ana ana ana. So, ang sama niyo, what are these pictures here? Representing what? These are? So, ano siya? The different activities. Different activities. It doesn't, kung balance approach, hindi i-force si teacher na ipit in siya na nili. So, he has to call for differentiated instruction. Oh, na na siya, Karol. It allows the teacher to do differentiated instruction because each learner has its specific demand. Kapano mo, kaya ni Pata, ah, kaya niya, ah, kaya niya, ah, kaya niya, ah, kaya niya, ah, ako, magkuha naman ko, mag-liburin ako, ako, magkuha naman ko, tap ko, magkuha na, na sila yung mga demands, na sila yung specific skills, which we are going to address, and let us not undermine each learner. Let us love them. As they are still uh, mga anak sa Hinoko. Kaya po na, I have to take na uh, ang tumana sila mga anak kaya po. Four reasons to select balanced literacy approach. In short, again, in summary, it follows gradual release of responsibility model, the top down, the balance, and the bottom up. It's the best of both worlds. It doesn't force the teacher to fit it all in. And it allows the teacher to differentiate learning. Can you see balance? When do you think is the most appropriate time to use the balanced literacy approach? When is that time? Now. 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 Depending on the... But what will tell us that you will apply this one? Students' reaction through your assessment. The assessment results will speak. 
Oh, oh, unilateral level sa solo approach. Now, when do you think is the most appropriate time to use the balanced literacy approach? Anong sa daw? When teaching how, teaching children how to read. When for use in the first couple of years of school for beginning readers. K to 3. O lagi, K to 3 taman. Pero taman, senior di pa man. Pero taman, senior di pa man. What is an effective way to integrate the different aspects of language? What is an effective way to integrate? So may mga pamahagi na integrate na to different aspects of language. We have here integrated language arts domains. Yan na si oral language. Katong atong kihimo kanyang activities. Those develop oral language, di ba? Nag-develop to. Developing also the four macro skills. Listen mo, speak, read, write. Then you, you. Then, phonics and word recognition, fluency spelling. Kani ni ang oral language, listening and speaking. Kuna lang siya na wey niya listening. Kaya more on listening ang bata, more on acting then sila kay magisay na sila nimo. Then yon si alphabet knowledge. That this is applicable to all the strands: listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Only subscribe sa kani listening, speaking, reading, or writing or Itawag niya ang mga macro skills. Next is phonics and word recognition applicable in listening, reading, and writing. Fluency, speaking, reading, spelling, reading, and writing. Then we have writing and composition. Listening, speaking, reading, writing. Grammar, awareness, and structure. Listening, speaking, reading, writing, book depth, vocabulary development, up to viewing. Then we have reading comprehension for reading, writing, and viewing. Listening comprehension, we have listening, speaking, attitudes, all up to viewing, and also study strategies. Language now. The one that I brought here with me, the other lady. Nabila, ay dalor na si Pen, tumato, na jo, at taro na si Leia. Who is this Leia? Do not keep on mentioning Leia when you go home. You might be quarreled by your wife. Kasi na po na si Leia? Nag-seminar lang ko na yung ILT na anak kay Leia. Leia, Leia, Leia. Napay juicy. So, what is Leia? Leia uses students' own spoken words as the reading test. Hindi ako na yun eh. Hindi ko at hindi yung masaktan o wala yung mga mga samples and explanations. Tantoy akong kanigan. What the child thinks he or she can talk about? Write and read. The language experience approach or language. Language experience approach. It can identify or create an experience. First, identify and create an experience. Or an experience first. Then, from that experience, you can talk about it. You can you cannot talk about something if you haven't experienced it, iba. The experience is the best teacher. Next, write about your experience. We did not come on MMK about your experience, and you read the text, reading the text. Mo na nasa si Leia, katong top down mo na siya, na hulog na siya sa Leia. So from this. A report questioning will come up, come in. Question ka, when the, the student reads about her work, you ask questions. You ask questions. Then, when do you think Leia, uh, when do you think is the most appropriate time to use Leia? Na sa na nato siya gabi po. When? Used with first language learners. Mother tongue. To teach students to read and write in any language. Using first hand experience of children and when teachers want to integrate speaking, reading, writing, and grammar into one lesson. Leia as an overall approach to language learning and development. Again, identify or create an experience. Talk about the experience. Write about the experience and read the text. It contextualize. It's better to have love and lost than nothing to love and lost. Oh. So you cannot write anything if you haven't experienced that. Huh? So, 
strategies for developing listening, comprehension, oral language, and writing. Una ni siya, mga strategies. Talk, talking, then listening comprehension, uh, oral language, and writing. After the uh, talk, the middle experience, when you're going to send the students outside, the lesson is on adjectives. I have already uh, said this a while ago. No, uh, when they come in, you're going to uh, write them something uh, about your objective or adjectives. Objectives, man ka. So, from the outside, na siya experience. Nag-talk na sila about, uh, about their classmates or oh, by pair. Sa may nahimo sa gawas. Write about your experience outside. Read what you have written. Read yan na siya. Na, they are in action. This is our example of a PIP. Program Implementation Plan. Project Implementation Plan. Hinangaran what? This is a district siguro ni Hinangaran. Implementation stage. This happened in 2021. This is the pandemic time. Home learning plan, some foundation during the pandemic. This is the project implementation plan. Day one, yang sampo liha. Day one, June 21, 2021. Orientation and letter. And letter M na niyang kwan. Letter M niyang target. The students learn letter M. How to master letter M. Yang ang time of pray, two hours per day. Target learners, 75 target learners will be able to objective in the pin, no? 75 target learners will be able to identify learning and their corresponding sound. Hmm, corresponding sound. Read the words with hmm sounds. Muna yung target niya, anang naglawang. Kapag kapasa si bata, of words with the hmm sound. 75 pupils reading words with uh, read words with mm sounds correctly. Expected na niya. Name ang sounds of letter M. Wala man po heading kung saan sila. Kita na rin mo sabot. That is the strategies. Direct instruction, guided reading. Muna niya mga strategies ni gamit. Direct instruction, guided reading, using the 5 W's and H. 5 big questions ha. Who, what, when, where, and how. Then Leia, shared instruction. Leia is a marked spread kay connection na sa itong topic na ron din. Sample siya. Si Leia, gigamit siya sa ilang PIP. Who are the persons involved? DSDS, school heads, 12 grade 1 teacher advisors, 12 grade 1 teacher advisors, the Yuntanesia, mong di mga materials, a home learning venue, a... Reading module pages 1 to 5 Kita na yung masabot kung saan siya Wala may heading Reference Then a home learning venue man po Nasa day 2 January 22, 2021 Iyang target letter S We have the upper case S And lower case letter S Maglog na nung kuha niyong pinto Okay Okay, nanaka. Sa day 2 na ni. 2 hours per day. Nagkuha ka uras. 75 target learners will be able to identify that their name and their corresponding sound S. Read words with X sounds. Read words with S sounds. Day 2 na na siya. And then, Direct instruction. Okay, the reading still Leia is here. Shared instruction. Ah, the BSDS yah po. Home learning plan modules pages six to ten. Na ani siya sa ilang modules, ilang lesson sa S pages six up to ten. Then on day three, June twenty three, two thousand twenty one, their lesson is on letter A. A na po siya. So para baro ko ni ng balo no. M S A. Two hours per day. Seventy-five target learners will be able to identify their name 
And then corresponding sound to A. Three words with A sound. Ano na S man eh? Sa'yo mo na A na na. A sound. So, 25 new pills leading words with A sounds correctly. Name and sound of the letter A. Kung kaya hindi A, A na niya. Direct instruction, guided reading, Leia, shared instruction. And now, we're in the school. Same people are involved and these are the materials used. Muna siya, ilang sample PIP. But you will hear. There is a session tomorrow on the project implementation plan. Let me see again, sample ni Bili sa Leia. How is Leia? Being integrated in the project implementation plan. This is now an activity for Leia. Bili ta po mo doon na hindi pa yung lakta. We will have a touch. You will feel, no? What Leia is. Pals, what do pa? The teacher presents a picture of a tree to the class and let them describe its parts. Para may experience sa bata. Okay, class, what are the parts of the tree? On the next picture. How do you describe a tree? What are its parts? Yeah. As, the part, as the learners describe the tree, the teacher repeats the words. He describes the tree sa bata. The teacher repeats the words sa bata and write them on a chart. Repeating, you, the teacher should listen to the answer of the child and write them at the same time on the board or on the chart. After they have named all the parts of the tree, the teacher reads their sentences giving credit to the owner of each sentence. So each child that describes a tree is one of the teachers. sa teacher answers. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations, Leah. Alma, very nice the sentence. Yeah, as it is uh, said by the child. You have to give uh, praises to the child. Mga, mga oily words ba? Para matapot. Kailangan. Kung mag-inistrict takta, the more din ito sila magkasapot. Ngayon, next, then the teacher invites the learners to read with him and her. Magbasa na lang sila. Okay, magbasa na kami. Let us read your word. Magbasa na lang sila. The teacher may also ask the learners to touch their favorite words in a sentence. Okay. Kusay ganahan ni mo na yung overdue. Think of the way to look, touch it. While they read the sentences prepared by the learner. The letter, the letter that we get begins and it's sound. So, it touch tayo niya ang favorite words in a sentence. And how niya ang letter that it begins. Ang sa may first letter ang niya word, yung mag itong look. What is the sound? Letter M. What is the sound? Chat. Ito na bitaw? Ganun ba yan? Ay, ay ka mo, tulog-tulog sa baka. Ganahan nila siya ni mo. Then they will learn to love reading. Muna ang genuine love for reading. Ma-develop nila siya. Ma-envelop. Kung ayun, galing ka, ma-develop ka din ka. Kasi maminda yun ba? Ma-envelop. Another one, activity two. Tatong ganiha, parts of the tree, basulatong sentence, papasaw ng baka o baniya, ipatudlo ang words na yung ganahan, pamutano ng bata, what is the first letter of the word? Do, bata, eh, what's the sound of the gun? Okay. Okay, balong chun. Next, think, tell, and write. Tell me more about the wonders of a tree. Using this picture, okay, class? So, mo dito ay yung anay ng kahoy. Kasi ito makuha sa kahoy. What the wonders? Kasi mo natin ang alam ang butang anay sa mga kahoy. Don't use the same process. Steps done in the first activity. Ipabasa, rublo, ipa-identify ang first letter, ipa-sound po, give the sound of the first letter. Same process. Nara. Pag tapanan na sila, isang senior high, in ang alam alami. Bahala na ito sa giyong, saan ito sa ito? Bahala di ba mo? Ano ko ko na kay mag-teach doon ito nila? Mula'y pili-pili. Ato siya. Activity 3 na po. Liyaya po. Things that I can do. Say. 
As a child, there are certain things that we can do. Ikaw, mingon. Sa atay, dagang ka po kang akong mahimo, inyo mahimo, and you can do. This time, I'm going to call each one of you and tell me some simple things that you can do. Ikaw, what's the mahimo mahimo? What are simple things that you can do? Dahan ay na sila. Repeat the same steps done in the first activity. Okay, may napot ka. Ikaw, teacher. My friend and I have favorite things that we love to do. How about you and your friends? Ako, kami mga utang ha. Kung ang things na mga nagdaghan nga, ang buha po, favorite things that we love to do. Ikaw po, what do you love to do? Repeat the same procedure niya po. Kas, ay mong gimo sa number one activity. Naragod na, i-match ni po alam yung bata, i-friend-friend. Rugiso, gamot na. Match me. Activity 5. Match me. Kaya na, may mga snack-snack ng may. Hindi. Snack ako ng bata. Pwede silang dalawa sa una sa snacks. Nagdalagin siya at mga makaon. Hindi po ito mga nag-readers. Makaon siya rin. Magpabasa sila. Present. Sa match me na po. Present a set of pictures that tell about things that a child can do or friends love to do. Set of pictures na po. Using the generated sentences and activities 3 and 5, ask the learners to look for the picture that will match each sentence. So, mag-matching na sila. Nag-match na itong sentence. Mga pictures, i-match-match. Place the pictures in the opposite side of each sentence. Now, check the words of the learners. Let them analyze their finished output and underline the actual word in each sentence. Action word na po. So, may nagkakakong action ani. Tani yung mga words. Ang saman ani. Kung ano po sa bata, yander line, yung pabasa. Usay sound ani ko. Usay first letter ani. Ang imo action word. Usay sound. Until na mamasa rin niya. Leia, my dear friends out there. This is an approach based on the use of the student's own spoken words. Or word as the reading text. The teacher records. What the student says, it helps the, them read the written version of their own speech. Ibabasa nila ang written version. The generated text can be used for word study, discussion, grammar, and syntax. Practice and prompts for students' writing. <laughs> and highly motivational reading materials. The child uses language skills, to make an orderly transition from speaking to writing to reading. Speaking, writing, reading. More than any approach to reading, approach to reading, there is a developmental integration of the communication skills for listening, speaking, reading, and writing. From the very first, the child is encouraged to share his thoughts, ideas, and feelings. Be a friend to the child. The major purpose of this approach is to impart the understanding that anything that can be said, anything that can be said can be written. Tanan na pwede may istorya, masulat. And anything that can be written can be read and said. This is an approach where...